Hi, I'm Keith. I'm the CEO of Miner. Miner activates virtual storefronts on your phone based on your physical location. What's in your mobile storefront changes as you move from place to place. Now, there's a ton of apps out there that are all about nearby or around me. Where should we go for dinner? Are there any specials in the East Village? That's not us. Miner's all about here. We answer the question, what's here for me, in real time, when you arrive at businesses, venues, and events, placing valuable, highly contextual content right at your fingertips during your visit. So whether you're here, here, or even here, Miner delivers only relevant information. With Miner, your physical presence at the location triggers the corresponding mobile store. When you arrive at a different place, the storefront updates automatically to show you what's there. A unique physical location, in this case Yankee Stadium, unique virtual storefront. If you can see, go ahead and take notice of all the various businesses associated with each piece of content. So whether you're Lobel's offering a chance to get a steak sandwich delivered to your seat, or Fathead selling your Jeter wall graphic with free shipping, Miner makes it easy to discover something you love and grab it with a few touches of your thumb. Speaking of thumbs, Miner's a smart mobile service that grows smarter just for you. We learn to personalize your virtual storefront based on the businesses and information you prefer to location. Okay, so how does all this work? Miner uses a geofencing technology to activate each mobile store. This system allows us to be highly accurate and battery efficient. But even cooler is how Miner treats a bounded location on our platform, like a bucket, giving any business independent of one another the ability to create location-specific content, toss it into the location that we then group into the one convenient virtual storefront for the people that are physically there. Now, this bucket design is important. Miner doesn't require the buy-in from any one party in particular to operate out of location. In fact, we already have every single professional and collegiate stadium arena, mall, airport, golf course, raceway preset on our platform. So I keep using the word content. What does that mean? What exactly can a business, brand, or agency do with Miner? They can do a lot. They can sell, promote, give away, or inform. There's absolutely no coding required. For example, let's say Nike wants to activate around their apparel deal with the NFL to connect with football fans in the physical world. They can simply come to Miner, choose what they want to do, in this case promote, create their content using our template. We show what information is required, and they watch it being built in real time in our simulator. They can select whether they want to drive people to a physical or online store, even set target demographics. OK, now they need locations. In this case, Nike obviously wants football, so we make it really, really easy to find a stadium and add it with a few clicks. Once they have their content and their location saved, sending it out to the physical world is a snap. Simply choose what you want to send where, set the day and time control, hit done, and boom. Miner digs it up at precisely the right place and time in the physical world. But you know what? That's just football. I'm sure Nike cares about a lot of other places and events, right? Like malls, maybe the US Open of surfing, wherever Tiger Woods happens to be, and definitely basketball. Miner can help. We make it dead simple to deliver mobile content to any location or event. And wouldn't it be cool if there was a way to also engage people before they even showed up or after they showed up at a place or event? Well, we could help with that too. As a hook, Miner includes a fun, location-based mobile treasure hunt. A treasure is simply a digital voucher for a real prize or freebie hidden in the physical world. We'll show you a map to where the nearest treasure is. But what is it? You'll have to physically get to the location to find out, and then you can claim it. All right, so here's how we see the world. Amazon is a commerce network. The glue that creates their network are all of the categories, the fact that you can buy anything on Amazon, and then all of the respective businesses and brands to each category. So if you search online, let's say headphones, you discover Sony, Beats, businesses and brands relevant to that category. Miner's creating a location-based commerce network. The glue for our network are all of the bounded locations, and then all the relevant businesses and brands to each. So if you were, let's say, physically at Roosevelt Field Mall, you discover the businesses relevant to where you are. If a business is selling through Miner, we take a small cut. If they're not selling, we simply charge based on the number of locations. We also earn money from treasure campaigns. We're at the intersection of some really, really big markets that are growing fast. Uh, these are all market projections to be met in the near term. But you know, what's important is that you know, Miner believes the future of mobile is ROI. 
and it's certainly not banner ads. Marketers are going to want to put money into a loop and be able to measure what comes back, and that's precisely what Miner does. While we've been at Dreamit, we've been running some private pilots using only our location-based web app. At this event, 87% of attendees visited the virtual storefront, with 44% signing up on the spot to take advantage of an offer there. The hatchery is going to be using Miner again for a big event in Bryant Park in September. Those screenshots earlier were actually from a pilot we did at the stadium. With next to no promotion, the number of unique visitors who hit our storefront that night was equal to 36% of the four square check-ins there. 58% of which signed up right then and there to take action, and 2% made a purchase. Miner sold merchandise to fans in attendance that night through a mobile web app that wasn't even optimized yet for sales. Think about that. It was a great night, and we also got some uh, really important social validation from the fans there. So before Miner, as Mark mentioned, I was the founder and CEO of a digital out-of-home media company. Uh, we counted blue chip names such as American Express, GM, Verizon, as clients to name a few. Before that, I worked at Clear Channel in their mall division. My co-founder, Oscar, was also an entrepreneur when we met. Uh, he was running his own development and design shop. Before that, he spent six years at Gray New York as a digital creative. The team is very, very technical at the moment. Uh, just a great group of really smart guys building Miner. They bring a range of experience uh, developing for startups and big companies alike. We've been supported by some really, really great angels up until this point. I think David Rose, you're out there somewhere in Arve. Uh, but today we're opening a seed round of a million dollars. We're going to use the funds to continue and close on some really big deals and partnerships we have in the works. We're also going to make some strategic hires, uh, especially in the area of sales and business development to drive customer acquisition. Also today, we're beta launching our iOS and Android apps here in New York City. And there's a great reason for all of you to go check them out right away. We're kicking off our Treasure Miner campaign. Right now, you can go out and dig up great prizes, like tickets to see Justin Timberlake, Pearl Jam, the Yanks, Mets, Giants, or Jets. We also partnered with these great businesses. There's, there are literally thousands of treasures all over New York City right now, including a ton of free beer and some surprises. So get the app. There's three ways. You can just go in any smartphone, minerapp.com, or grab it uh, in the iTunes or, or uh, the Android store. Thank you so much.